Hey guys, you are watching Aurora's vlog. Today, I want to show you how to make this lamp. Recently, my family from the Philippines and the rest of the Central Visayas got hit with the Typhoon Odette or Rai. For the last four days, I was not able to get a hold of anyone. I had my dad and the children and I was going crazy what's going on. And after four days, which is today, uh, my little girl called me that she said that they have no power, nothing, they have no gas and they are so dark at night so that got me thinking that in a ways that i could help her how to make it from home also it would also help others how to make a lamp light without buying using gas a simple cooking oil is all you need and a glass of mason jar so if you want to see how i did it Please stick around and if this is your first time watching Aurora's vlog, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get this video going. Hey guys, tonight I'm going to be showing you how to make your own oil lamp. This is going to be a kind of English and Cebuano at the same time or it is kind of a Cebuano teaching at the same time. So what we need is 100% cotton. And you can just use your uh, fabric that you don't use anymore. Then what we need is the, the cap. Of course, the reason why we don't really need this, but I'm gonna be using this so I don't poke hole into my chopping board. Um, I'm gonna put that in there and I'm gonna use the this, this screwdriver to poke some holes. So we need the screwdriver, the long nose. This is when you have to grab the burner, which is the fabric and scissor. We call this gunting in the Philippines, I mean Cebu. And hammer, we call this martelio. And we also need matches, sabisaya apa, or in Cebuano, posporo. And then we need oil we call the oil or cooking oil in Cebuano is mantika then we need jar mason jar um, i'm just gonna be using the small one so let's get going but before we do that go ahead and press that like button and subscribe if you haven't already let's go ahead and get this video going i am going to use the short one this is probably like three inches tall and then the cap one I'm gonna do the poke the hole from inside out okay with the screwdriver now let's go ahead hammer it just poke it into the center yeah look at that we have a square all right so what we need now a small fabric as our wick so let's go ahead and cut i'm i like to use the very bottom one maybe about six to eight inches long put that from inside and grab that with the long nose see that this is how long you need it to be you can just coil it inside when the oil is there so let's go ahead and pour some oil i'm just gonna put uh, at least half so anyway let's pour half to your mason jar i'm gonna soak it up first all right soak it a little bit then Pour it a little bit. Now you can go ahead and close the lid. So let's use the posporo, which is the translation of much matches in Cebuano. Now you have light. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the light. If you're happy with the brightness of the lamp, you can just keep it that way. But if you want to make it maybe a little bit brighter, you can just use your long nose and grab the fabric, bring it up, 
and you should have a little bit brighter. Let me turn this off. Let's turn off the lights. See what it looks like. Oh, here you go, guys. You will have a lamp at night. You can use this, especially now in Cebu. Uh, my family back home, they say they're so dark at night. They have no gas or kerosene to use for lamp. And they don't know that they could use this cooking oil to use as their night lamp. So anyhow, thank you for watching.